In early 1943, the War Department approved the acquisition of more than 400,000 acres of land at the Hanford site. For 1,500 people who lived on that land, this was a shock. Suddenly, their homes and farmlands were lost to the war effort. To avoid a public relations disaster, General Groves allowed the farmers to harvest their crops one last time. We permitted them to stay on and harvest their crops in the spring of, of, of 1943. And it was done because it would have been very unwise to have uh, had people be able to go out and say, well, the government came in, they're talking about saving food, they're short of food, they're asking us to save this and that. And then they come in and let all these crops just rot. So uh, we uh, permitted them to stay. Uh, the result of that was very disastrous financially for the government because uh, they had the best crop they'd had in years and years, in fact, of all time. Prices were extremely high, and uh, the juries all got very compassionate as to the price of the land. So we paid an awful lot more money for it than we would have if we'd just taken it ruthlessly. After the harvest was complete, Army engineers chopped down the trees with ruthless efficiency, leaving only stumps where the fruitful orchards once stood.